Watch, stick around for just a minute here. Oh, yeah, all right. Janice, we are smiling from ear to ear, and it's not because of that weather, the forecast <laughs> that you talked about. On this day 25 years ago, the tri state area was given a very special gift, and that gift is Janice Hopkins. Yes, and she is the gift that just keeps on giving, especially <laughs> with her dedication to her craft. And of course, personally, there is no warmer, kinder friend. We began celebrating Janice's silver anniversary at News 4 this afternoon in our newsroom, raising a glass to what we hope is only the halfway point of a remarkable career here at 30 Rock. And we shared a special few minutes with her that we'd like to share with you right now. Not long after the ball dropped in Times Square, heralding the arrival of 1995, Janice Huff sashayed into the NBC New York studios from KRON in San Francisco, looking for a new career challenge. Now let's face it, weather forecasting in San Francisco isn't all that complicated. All of this fog. Very cloudy and foggy. Some fog moving in. There's just so much fog. But New York, that's weather. Hurricanes, floods, heat waves, blizzards. Certainly something a meteorologist on track to attain the highest ranks of her profession could sink her teeth into. But back in January of 1995, Janice's arrival was greeted by a four-day heat wave with a high of 64 degrees. Or did she and her thousand-watt smile bring it with her? January the following year, 1996, was more like it. The two will merge and then head toward our area. A blizzard buried the city under more than 20 inches of snow. It's still coming down hard out there. Lots of wind. We set record snowfall here right. in the city already. It wasn't long before she moved to weekdays, then added a six-day to her schedule, doing national forecasts on Saturdays on Weekend Today for 16 years. We may get a little bit of sunshine, but... We'll Through the years, we knew that whatever weather was coming our way, Janice was on top of it, on top of the science and the math and the logic necessary to calculate the most precise forecast possible delivered with passion and consummate skill. It'll feel more like it's 105. Bombogenesis is what's happening now. Here's the five-day forecast for you. It's still coming down very heavily in Midtown. Up it went. That new radar dome is our eye and new force in the sky. But it wasn't all work and no play for Janice. She caught the eye of Bravo's Andy Cohen, who decided his show needed a little Janice Huff magic. Do you have a forecast for us? I actually do have a forecast for okay, Potomac. Good. And you know, there's some major drama going on down oh there with purses okay. flying all over the place and LaDame perfume showers and excessive drama. <laughs> oh, yes! What always came through, besides the fact that she is probably one of the best meteorologists you could ever meet, the, the, her heart, her kindness, her sense of humor. Ah, yes, her heart. Janice certainly didn't leave it in San Francisco. That big heart reached out to New York's children in foster care with her weekly segment called Wednesday's Child. You're gonna pick out something that you wanna paint. What do you see? I saw the Statue of Liberty. Hey, Angel, baby. Hi. Her goal was to get them adopted by loving families. Father? Father? Yes. Father? Yes. Okay, these are approved. Janice has helped 262 children find loving permanent homes. Is that you, Barking Porter? Speaking of permanent homes, this little guy has one, thanks to Janice. She also has a soft spot for animals, and this puppy caught her eye during a pet adoption segment on LXTV. It was love at first sight. We're gonna go to my house, and it's gonna be your house. It's gonna be our house. Porter the pup now lives with Janice and her husband, Warren. If Porter could talk, he'd probably say something like this. Whenever you're doing the weather, there's always a 100% chance of fun and a warm front in my heart. Her warmth is equaled only by her modesty, and for 25 years now, when she's on TV, we pay attention because of her knowledge and her empathy and her skill and her love of what she does. You were incredible to me working alongside when we used to do Weekend Today together. So. Thank you for always being such a wonderfully kind person and for always giving us all a boost. I'm here with you always 25 more years, right, Janice? Let's do it. Why not? I would argue that she is uh, the beating heart of News 4, and she works tirelessly, and she is just one of the best people you could possibly call colleague, but more importantly, call friend. By my calculations, you produced over 20,000 forecasts, and in my eyes, none of them have been wrong. <laughs> Congratulations on all your success. I love you, pal. Happy anniversary. We heard it's your 25th anniversary, Janice Huff. This is a cast of Ain't Too Proud. 
Happy anniversary. Happy Woo! anniversary. <laughs> 25 more. <laughs> Hey, Weather Sister, congratulations. 25 years, unbelievable. So here's the question. Here I am starting my fourth job in 25 years. How is it that you're still at the same one? Congratulations. Hey, Janice, congratulations. Happy 25th anniversary at the station. Looking so cute. I want every outfit I see you wear. But most of all, what a professional. So thank you, Janice, and lots of love. Janice, 25 years at WNBC. Do you know the gift they usually give for 25th anniversary sterling silver? And I've got to say, you're a sterling meteorologist, you're a sterling friend, and we are all so happy for oh, you. Oh, we're so excited here. Think of all the silver snowflakes that have fallen over these past 25 years. I've got a frog in my throat. <laughs> I can't even think about what to say, Janice. Janice, I love you every day. You come out with grace and form and do what you gotta do. Uh, there's a lot to be said for that, Dawn. Keep it up. Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary! Hi, Janice. This is Mary Keene from You Gotta Believe, congratulating you on 25 years. Um, it's been a long time. And you've done so much over those years to highlight kids in foster care in New York City and make their dreams come true for something they wanted to do. Hey Janice, this is Naya, you gotta believe. I wanna thank you for all the work that you do with Wednesday's Child. Thank you for giving youth the platform to tell their stories. In this life, all we truly own is our truth, and it is to be told. So thank you for all the work that you do. Peace and love to you. This is John Alquist with the Meteorology Program at Florida State University. Janice, we are so proud that you're one of our graduates. And we want to thank you so very, very much for all the help you have given us and continue to give us with our weather casting operations. Here's the 25 more. Mazel. All right, uh -huh. yeah, it's 100% accurate right here. Right? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. I, I'm just going to underline that. I mean, it's been such an honor to be with you for 25 years, and you are the best on every level. People out there may not realize that the Janice you see here, this warm, wonderful, talented <laughs> Janice, is the same thing we get off camera all the time. <laughs> it's fabulous. I try. And I mentioned you achieved the highest ranks, or on your way to achieve. You did achieve the highest rank in your profession just a couple days ago. Um, I was inducted as a fellow of the American Meteorological Society, which uh, very few people actually have are inducted into that. You have to be nominated. And even fewer broadcast meteorologists. Most of them are academics, uh, professors, PhDs, uh, like Ted Fujita, who came up with the Fujita yeah. rating scale yeah. for tornado. That's a person who's a fellow. And so I'm very honored to be in their ranks, among their ranks, and among yours, too. You have been the best colleagues I've ever had a chance to You be. are a yeah. weather person for the ages. Oh, thank <laughs> you, Bubba. Thank best, you, Bruce. Best in class <laughs> and the class act. And I've been honored to work with you for 23 years. It's been amazing. You are a New York treasure. Thank you. And you Thank understand you. this, Gilma, don't you? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. I've been a fan for such a long time. Well, you were in the was, building, too. Yes, yes. Yes. As an intern, I've been a fan for such a long time. Oh. And it was so wonderful to see that what we see on television is exactly what you get. Warm, intelligent, and genuine. Well, authentic. Oh. Hey, YouTube. Thanks for watching this video from NBC New York. Stay up to date by hitting the subscribe button right below. And over there, you can get the latest updates, investigations, and features. Catch you next time.